this is a story about me and actually I think this might be no that would see the story um ever told. You will just wanna be on my side, I think. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but this is I had two friends out on the playground with me. And I was trying to impress a girl <laughs> and I was just being all funny and everything. And I told uh so actually my friend, one muffin friend, his name is Jesus, and he says meow a lot, so everyone calls him the cat. And especially my other friend named Eric. And um yeah, especially him. And I was like, Hey Seuss, how much would I have to pay you to stab Eric with a pencil for saying meow all the time? He's like, None and he runs over there, grabs him with a pencil, they get into the fight, it was funny and everything. Then he soon starts walking around. And eventually it got to the point where Eric started crying because he found out that I told him he used to stab with a pencil. I didn't really tell him, but I, I was like, um, I said, how much would I have to pay? And he said, none. I didn't tell him to, really. I just asked. And, well, somehow the teacher out on the, uh, out of recess duty found out. And she called me a bully. And we had detention for a couple days. Yeah, I bullied my one of my closest friends, which totally makes sense and everything. And the funny thing is, I they never they never thought about it. They are all they're just still friends. They don't like each other that much. They still joke around. They call, they say meow to Jesus and everything. And Jesus doesn't really care. And well, so it was really I thought it was stupid. Uh, my the teacher called me a bully. I had to write an apology. I had to explain what I did to I what I did to the principal and the superintendent, and I thought it was I was so peed off, and I I had to sit in the office and I gave Jesus the window away from the uh, um the uh, the window where the because the the office is right next to the lunchroom. And we had to sit, we couldn't eat lunch with anybody, we had to sit in the office. And, um, I told Jesus, oh, you can have the one away from the window, because I didn't know if Jesus was, like, gonna cry or something. So I was like, okay, so it's just stay over there. And I, I literally had to endure everybody just looking at me, because I'm probably the best, not the best, but I'm, the sm I'm probably the smartest kid in my school. I never get in trouble. I'm a goody two-shoes, basically. And they all just looked at me, and I was like, yeah. Damn it. God dang it. And, um, yeah, I, I had to write an apology to Eric, um, who immediately threw it away, just saying. <laughs> and, uh, and I had to explain what I did to the principal who gave my parents a call and everything, all the, the whole principal. And, um, yeah, I got not huge trouble, but probably the I the worst I've ever gotten in, and I really have never, and I was kind of sad about leaving because we in our school we have grade schools K through six, and instead of K through five, and I was kind of sad about leaving all my teachers and everything, but then I immediately realized, um, that grade school sucks, and I wanted to get on to middle school and everything, and then. My the teacher that was outside told my favorite teacher, my writing teacher, that what had happened, and she had a she did not like me the same. And I really I was like, yeah, if I could have told her what happened, she would not she would have been on my side with it, and it kind of ruined my reputation with her. And um, but yeah, and I thought it was really stupid, and I know people have gotten in detention for longer, suspended, expelled, stuff like that, but it was really stupid, and I felt like I was debating on whether or not to go to school tomorrow, because it was just a waste of time, because they also took you out of fun activities, like, like, recess, and watching movies, and what do you know, the only two movies that we watch all year are on that day, where I'm in detention, and I can't watch it, and I was so pissed, because, 
when I went to go, I was like, I asked one of my favorite teachers, do I have to go to the office? And she was like, oh, go ask Mrs. The te- go ask the teacher that, you know, got in trouble and everything. And I was like, hey, Mrs. Wiener, do I, do I have to, um, in the provider, or, <laughs> hey, Mrs. L, do I have to go to detention? And she's like, hmm, I wonder what. And she's like, I don't know, like, yeah, I guess. So I had to go to detention, and I don't see any suits there. And then I, and I, I, I told the secretary who was watching over me, it's like, oh, um, I'm going to go, to, is it okay if I go to the bathroom? And she's like, yeah. So I sneak up, I go into the classroom where the movie's taking place, and I see Sue sitting there, and I'm, and then I go back, and I was, because I didn't want to get in trouble, I'm wondering why he Sue's sitting there, and then I realized that my teacher was so stupid that she didn't realize about his suit, so I was in there all alone, and she didn't even realize it, and it happened to be her, that teacher's birthday, and she gave everybody popsicles, except me, and she gave one to Asus. I know she gave one to Asus, and she must have not noticed it was Asus, and she, he should have been in the office, but whatever, I guess, I didn't get a popsicle, I didn't, yeah, it's been a long vlog, and an angry vlog, but yeah, that was probably the stupidest thing that ever happened to me, and Asus and, um, Eric are still pretty close friends, and none of them are mad at me, Asus isn't mad at me, even though I got him in trouble, basically, but yeah, it's been a vlog by Mr. Klasma, oops, <laughs> and, um, quack quack, see you guys in another video, I guess.